Good morning, people. Today is the first day of the five day fast that I'm gonna do, and I want to document it. So, this is the you know, accompanying vlog to the five day fast. Um, if you don't know what a fast is, it basically means no eating for uh, a time, and I'm gonna do five days of no eating. My rules are only water, so it's a water fast, and maybe salt because I read that you might want to refill your electrolyte lights a little bit, but that's really the only thing. Can't have anything else except water and maybe salt. So I'm gonna do that for 120 hours, because if you do the calculation, that's five times, five times 24 is five days. I had my last meal yesterday, exactly here, and I'm wearing my cool sandals. How you like those? Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna take it too seriously with the exact timing. I think I'm just gonna go basically from now for 120 hours, which means because I had my last meal yesterday night and not this morning, that once I finish, I've done you know 120 hours plus 12 hours for that night. Um, so yeah, that's fun. Uh, I don't have any preparation really. I don't know if I should have done it. You know, I'm just gonna jump into it. I've never done a five day fast. I've never done a fast that was, my longest fast was probably 24 hours. I've done a lot of intermittent fasting. Um, I think for the last two years, basically I've, I've skipped breakfast and just had my breakfast at around uh, 1 p.m. So I've done a lot of daily 16 hour fasts. Um, and they help me a lot with energy. And for me, the reason why I wanna do this five day fast is really because I've never done it and I heard it's really good for you. There are some other reasons that I might go into, but that's the reason for now. And so far, I only had a glass of water and I cannot have this, which is right now the hardest thing, that I cannot have a coffee this morning. And I can't have any coffee for this time. So it's also gonna be a caffeine detox, which I guess is good, but may make it harder. But yeah, let's go. All right, what's up? First update for the fast. It's still the first day. It's uh, 4.30 p.m. Haven't eaten anything, obviously. Um, I'm feeling good on that though. Uh, like I'm not super hungry, but that might also be because I'm used to intermittent fasting. So I'm used to sometimes only eating at like 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. Um, I did decide to drink some tea uh, because I did get very cold. And technically it's not cheating because tea is still just water. There's no protein or carbs or fat in there. Uh, no caffeinated tea though. And uh, I might have done myself a disservice by also not drinking any caffeine. Uh, because not only do I now, you know, can't eat, but I'm now also on a caffeine withdrawal, which uh, makes me very tired. <laughs> and uh, it's not fun. I really like coffee. Like, I really like coffee. Anyway, we're gonna stick with that too. So I'm also gonna get a cleanse on that, but that might be consideration for the next time too. Uh, not also do caffeine withdrawal uh, with the fast. All right, update on the first day of the fast. It's now 9.30 p.m. Um, I'm still not feeling particularly hungry. Um, just some appetite. I do have a mild headache since uh, for two hours, about two hours now, and uh, tired. And I've uh, been kind of tired and unenergized and unmotivated the whole day. Um, but I think both headache and the energy levels might more, might be more related to the caffeine withdrawal than the not eating part. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go sleep now. I think I'm gonna abandon my idea of waking up at 6 a.m. Um, which was separate from the whole fasting idea, but that was kind of my schedule that I wanted to keep. But you know, for energy levels, and uh, I'm very cold. I drank like two two teas today, and I'm wrapped in some blankets, so I feel very cold. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know if I want to abandon the caffeine idea because on the one hand, I think it's, well, good to get off caffeine for a little bit too and kind of reset that. But on the other hand, I did feel very unenergized and unmotivated and tired throughout the whole day. And again, I think that's due to the caffeine and not due to the fasting. Um, and... Uh, you know, I, ideally, I want to maintain some kind of uh, productivity throughout this five day fast and not be a complete vegetable lying in bed all day. So I don't know yet, I might introduce black coffee and no milk, just straight black coffee, which um, is still, you know, keeping to fasting. But ideally, I want to not do that. But we'll see. Uh, and now I'm gonna sleep. Good night. Bonjour, it is uh, 10.30 on the second day. I slept until 9.30, which meant, means I slept about 12 hours, hours which is insane. Um, didn't set an alarm this time, so kind of anticipated it, but that's okay. I don't know if it's due to the fasting or just the darkness and winter of Germany that makes me slumber. Um, feel pretty good today. Um, took a cold shower so I'm gonna see whether it's just the effect of that or um, or it's gonna last a little made myself some Roy Bush tea already drank I think three glasses of water so I'm good on that did some stretching um, so we're gonna see but for now I feel pretty good I'm not hungry um, I feel like I have more energy than yesterday um, and yeah I'm gonna update you all right, it's now an hour later and uh, the headache kicked in again. So <laughs> I don't feel better than yesterday. And I'm heavily debating introducing coffee, black coffee, because I think it's not smart to combine your detox, your caffeine detox and your fast. And I'm just a fucking potato. And I do want to not lose all of my productivity and uh, I had things I wanted to do, you know, this weekend and these days, which is a note to the next time I'm fasting. Like if you're taking it serious, and I think you do want ideally to get to also not drink caffeine, um, then don't expect to be able to do anything because I'm, you know, an hour later, I'm just tired. I have a headache. I have, um, what do they call, uh, what do you call it? Um, I mean, that's what I expected, but, um, yeah, I'm heavily debating drinking black coffee, no, uh, milk, obviously to keep the fast in a sense. Well, the, it's still fasting, but you know, it's not as clean as you could go. Uh, but at least maybe then I could actually do shit. Yeah. All right, I looked a little bit into it and uh, read up on what uh, Peter Atia says about it, which is someone I really trust on this. And it basically says, you know, it depends whether black coffee breaks your fast. If you're practicing it for weight loss reasons, then black coffee won't affect it and you can drink it. And it might actually help. If you're practicing it for to help with, with, uh, with your gut, with, with gastrointestinal issues, then it will break the fast because it would be altering the gastric pH. Um, and if you're doing it for autophagy purposes, which is the main reason I'm doing it, I would say, I'm not doing it for weight loss. I don't need to lose weight. So this and this are my main two reasons. Here he says they don't know. They can't measure autophagy. Aut autophagy? I don't know how to pronounce it. So basically here it's a clear no and here's a we don't know and these are the two main reasons I'm doing fasting for. So I think I want to try to not drink coffee. And he says for herbal tea it's a little different. It's probably okay to, to consume during a fast. It's not thought to affect autophagy. And when he does his fast he only consumes water, herbal tea and bouillon which is sodium and water. So I'm, I might look into drinking bouillon additionally but Unless it gets really bad, I think I want to try to stay off of coffee, which will fucking suck. All right, shit. Now I just started watching the video on which the notes that I showed you earlier were based on and the same question. 
should you drink coffee during a fast or can you drink coffee during a fast? By the way, this video is very interesting probably for anyone who wants to try it. This is more general about anything fasting, uh, but I can highly recommend looking into Dr. Peter Atia, this dude, um, if you want to know more about fasting. Um, but basically the gist of it was GI issues, which I said was one of the things why I wanted to do it, is not really anything interesting to me because I don't have any actual GI issues. I thought it would be nice to rest the um, the gut a little bit, but I don't have any, um, any issues there. And then for autophagy, um, yes, they don't know, but he also just said in the video that if you are a caffeine consum consumer, he either usually tells his patients to either wean off of coffee a week prior to the fast, or if you can't do that, just keep drinking coffee during the fast because going cold turkey on not drinking coffee, if you've you know, you are a very regular coffee, coffee drinker. It's probably not a smart idea. And so, yeah, shit. Should I drink coffee? That's a question. I'll wait a little longer and I'll see. Maybe I start drinking it tomorrow or something. What up? It's still the second day. It's 4.30 right now. I still haven't drunk in coffee yet. We'll see how I decide on that. But... It's the first time I'm getting hungry, like the first day and pretty much the morning, midday of the second day now. I've not really felt hungry. Now I feel fucking hungry. Just the idea of eating food just sounds really attractive right now. So yeah, it took me a day and a half to feel it, but now I'm feeling it. Oh, and I think I might gonna go out for a walk and just move a little bit and get some fresh air and shit. All right, it's day three of the fast. It's now uh, 12 p.m. I woke up at 7 a.m. Um, and actually got up, uh, which is a first in this fast, uh, and went for a little run. I ran for, you know, not a lot. I ran like half an hour and like five kilometers. Um, but it definitely put me out because when I came back, I basically fell back asleep for another two hours. Um, so that's fun. Um, and I'm also making right now some beef broth. So it's just some beef with bones, onions, carrots, uh, garlic, bay, and I think that's it, some peppercorns. Um, I th I th from what I read, it should be okay to drink this. Obviously, I'll take out all the foodstuffs in it, all the meat and vegetables. And I'll have to drain it very carefully to make sure I get all the little pieces out and uh, make sure I skim all the fat, which you can do very easily if you let it cool because then it will all set at the top and you can just get it off. Um, but that will that will be an additional dish uh, to to drink because it's it also has some uh, lots of um, sodium so salt which is good, I guess people say you want to consume some salt while you fast, so that's going to be my provider for salt. I don't know if I can eat it today yet, because they say you should let it cook for like six hours, which will be already the evening, and then I need to let it cool down so it can skim the fat, so maybe I can only eat it tomorrow, but we'll see about that. And I'll also update you on that. I basically just threw it all in a pot and it's so my first time making a broth, so we'll see whether it will work out. All right, it's the end of day three now. Uh, it's 10 p.m. I'm gonna go to bed now. Uh, I didn't end up drinking the broth yet. Uh, I sieved it, I cooked it, um, I got all the solids out, but uh, I need to let it cool down so I can properly skim all the fat uh, from the top. So I think tomorrow morning I have a I'll have a broth and I'm really looking forward to it um, but I want to make sure I get all the stuff out so I'm, I wanted to wait on it even though I was so craving for it um, feel pretty good I feel like I had only a slight headache in the morning the rest was okay definitely got hungry again around noon and then lasted basically for the whole afternoon 
um, like I was just craving that fucking broth. Um, I'll definitely not drink a coffee during the fast. I decided on that. I decided, you know, if I'm gonna do it, I wanna do it properly. Um, I'm officially three days in. Um, at 8 p.m. today, I crossed the 72 hour mark. So two more days and then two, two days at night at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. is the, the time I had my last meal. I can officially eat something again. But yeah, good night. All right, good morning. It's the morning of the fourth day and I just got out the bone broth, which I didn't eat yesterday yet because I wanted this to happen, which is it cools down and all the fat goes to the top and gets solid. So now I can easily skim it off and make sure that you know there are no pieces and no fat in my broth so then I can have it for breakfast. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Just carefully use a spoony spoon, spoony spoon, and skim it all off. All right, the final step of filtration was uh, using this broth that I made, which still has some I don't know what this is, like maybe tiny pieces of meat, maybe protein or something and run it through a uh, kitchen cloth to really filter it. And now as you can see, it's completely clear and free of solids. And I just had my first cup. And I mean, the benefit of fasting is that that shit tasted like one of the best things I've ever had. And um, it was the first thing of like real flavor that I had in three and a half days. And I just savored the shit out of it. And uh, well, I had tea, but somehow tea is not scratching the itch. And I also added a shit ton of salt. And my sister said that it was super salty and she eats a lot of salt. But to me, it wasn't that salty. So I guess my body really needed the sodium. I read up a lot of um, blogs or stuff I actually recommend to you when you're doing a water fast to at least consume, well, either broth or just salt in water or something like that. Um, and yeah, it seems like my body really needed it because it should be the other way where my taste buds and I was so sensitized that everything should taste super salty. Um, but yeah, that felt really good. I think I'm gonna have another half cup of these. Good morning, it is the morning of day five, the last day. I didn't recap yesterday uh, in the evening, but yesterday I would say was probably the best day so far. Um, I felt like I was getting back into form. I had energy again, I had motivation again. I don't think I had a headache, and if I did have one, probably a pretty short one. Um, my hunger was still there, especially when you know I smell food or something like that, but it was, curbed um that might also be due to the bone broth i drank a lot of that shit yesterday um probably like a liter of bone broth so um that was definitely helpful having that both as a you know as a way to consume salt without having to you know eat salt or put it into water which is kind of disgusting um and also to feel like you're you're consuming something that has real flavor like real food flavor so in the next fast or if anyone here wants to do one i highly recommend um having broth or bouillon there just make sure that it's actually you know doesn't contain anything because often if you buy these broth cubes or um the powder that you just put into hot water they put like starch and and sugar and corn syrup and and uh, and all kinds of garbage in there which well one it's garbage and two it might break your fast because they actually put you know sugar and all of that stuff in there so make sure that you make one that actually is good um but yeah yesterday felt amazing today i'm feeling good um got up at 7 30 um and i'm gonna eat at 8 p.m. later today, so it's it's the last stretch. I haven't yet decided on what I'm gonna eat. I feel like I wanna go, so in terms of what you wanna eat for, for breaking the fast, I read up a little bit about it. So the what 
what there is consensus about is that it should be a small meal because you haven't eaten in five days your your stomach actually um, shrinks and so if you eat a massive portion or you know very intense food then you might throw up or you might just not feel <coughs> you might not feel very good. So you wanna definitely have a small meal. Um, some people say, you know, eat a piece of fruit, like an apple, you know, something like that To It's a very simple food and it's delicious. I actually, again, reading Peter Atia, he doesn't recommend it because it is very high in sugar. And so, especially after five days of not eating, if you eat an apple or something sweet like that, your insulin levels will spike very high because it's just not used to sugar anymore. Um, and so that's also not necessarily super good for your body. So you probably want to eat something low carb um, with not too many fibers, so it's easy to digest. Um, so I might eat just a small omelette or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll just indulge and don't give a fuck and just throw up afterwards and eat more again. Um, but yeah, day four was definitely the, the returning to form and feeling good, still feeling hungry. I don't know how hungry I'll get today. Not super hungry right now. Um, people say that if you fast longer after, because you hit ketosis, um, you actually are not hungry anymore. Um, but I don't want to extend. I'm ready. I also want to gain weight. I think I lost two kilo kilos, four pounds or something like that of weight, and I'm not super, you know, heavy. So I don't actually want to lose that weight. So I'm gonna eat and gain back, back, gain back my weight. And I'm gonna stretch a little bit with this dude here in my sister's room, who looks like a fucking mess. All right, it is two more hours until I can eat again. And I, I'm i not 100% sure, but I think what I'm gonna eat is just meat, like literally just some minced beef. Um, and just because one, I really wanna eat it, and two, it's simple. It's just one ingredient, literally. And technically, if you think about it historically, our ancestors, that's how they broke their fast. Right? They stalked a lion for seven days and then they finally got the kill and then there was a feast. But uh, I realized I'm really over this fast. I'm really looking forward to just being able to eat again and enjoy food. Oh my god, I, it's crazy. Like We have this constant access and available of all this amazing food, fresh food and you know, all these ingredients and I can cook at home and I never took it, I never realized how how incredible that is if you suddenly don't have that anymore. Like now just any dish sounds good, right? Like just eating plain meat, just eating an apple, just, I'm um, just eating a piece of fucking chocolate. I wanna eat a piece of chocolate. Oh my God. Um. It's pretty crazy. And I think, I guess that's one of the benefits of doing this to really feel like what it feels like to be hungry. Obviously not like how people who truly, you know, live in hunger and poverty feel like because they never know when the next meal is gonna come. And I know I can at any point just grab something, but you know, to really feel hungry and you realize how valuable food is and how much you think about food and how important food is and how much joy it can bring you if you take the time to enjoy it um and i hopefully will be able to retain that for time to you know realize how grateful i should be to eat this food and to just enjoy the food more to you know not eat in front of the computer mindlessly while doing something else and not really realizing what I'm eating and how I'm eating and how fast I'm stuffing it into my mouth. Hopefully this will bring a little more and I'll try to actively practice that for the at least next couple of days. Hopefully it will stay a little longer to just eat with a little more mindfulness and presence and just 
sitting there and, you know, thank you full of food and, and just tasting it, you know, I just want to taste it again. I have these ideas in my head of what things taste like, and I'm pretty sure it's accurate, but like, it's this concept, like this memory of, you know, what things taste like, because I can't actually eat them. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it being over and uh, not hopefully constantly thinking about food anymore and not be hungry and have a little more energy again. I definitely never got to a point where my energy levels were better than without the fast. I think some people talk about it, that they suddenly have all this mental clarity. Maybe I would have gone there if I kept my coffee because I obviously also cut coffee off and that's obviously one that will bring withdrawal symptoms and two that will that removes one energy source right that we often rely on in our day-to-day um it's definitely not a productivity hack and uh yeah can't wait and I want to eat so many things I want to eat a piece of chocolate I want to eat meat and vegetables fresh vegetables and cooked vegetables and fish and i want to eat pizza and uh, i'll probably gain so much weight in the next couple of days but that's okay because i think i lost two and a half kilos um so far and i'm pretty lightweight so i actually want to gain more than those two and a half kilos back so that's okay but yeah i'm looking forward to it being over it's definitely not fun (laughs) All right, I opted for beef and pota- uh, tomatoes for the first meal. And, whoop, wait. And I already had my first bite. Mm-hmm. It has so much more flavor than you're used to. I probably shouldn't eat all of this. This looks like a lot of food. But, you know, we'll see. All right, it's 30 minutes after I've eaten all of those tomatoes and meat, and it was amazing. And uh, my stomach didn't get upset. So now it's time for the second course, yogurt with blueberries and honey. Let's see how this goes. All right, this is the wrap up of the fast, of the five day fast. It is now the day after. I actually just had my breakfast, my first meal of the day, and it's about 1.30 p.m. So I'm jumping right back into my intermittent fasting cycle where I only eat breakfast around 1 or 2 p.m. and then fast for about 16 hours, which uh, I really enjoy because it gives me a lot of energy in the morning. Um, But yeah, to wrap up, I ate a shit ton of food that was probably not ideal to break, break the fast with. You guys saw I ate the meat and the tomatoes and then I ate yogurt and blueberries and then I was still hungry and I ate fucking <laughs> oh my god I ate a I ate a chocolate Santa the full one well it was like a middle sized one then there was a leftover piece of pizza from my family I snagged that one up I ate a couple of cookies I ate a couple of handful of peanuts uh, I went ham I was definitely hungry and I was like a like a trash I don't know like <laughs> I was, you know, whatever came my way, I ate it up, which is probably not ideal, but surprisingly, I felt pretty good. I didn't have any stomach issues yesterday after it. I didn't have any stomach issues this morning when I woke up. I slept well, so probably not the ideal way to break the fast, but I was just fucking hungry and I wanted chocolate and I was, you know, I just allowed myself to indulge. Um, I feel amazing today. I had my first coffee today. Um, and I, so recap, it was incredible. I think I will do a five day fast maybe once a year. Um, some people like Tim Ferriss, they go ham and they do a seven day fast every quarter. Um, I don't think I want to go that extreme, but I think it's a good thing to do regularly for multiple reasons. One, it's really good for you. It's really good for your health to recycle some damaged cells, which reduces your risk of cancer, which is amazing. And I'm sure that's kind of why Tim Ferriss does it more often, because I think he's in his late 30s now or something. So obviously he's much older than I am. So you think more about this stuff when you get older. Um, It uh, really detoxes you 
off of you know sugar and and uh, and caffeine and all these flavors that we constantly eat and um, it resets your palate um, and I think especially after you know the whole Christmas feasting it's a good time to start the new year with this so I think I might just keep the the um, timing and do a five day fast every beginning of the year and I think it's an amazing exercise to reset your gratitude and your relationship to food because you realize how amazing it is that we have all this food constantly available you know and you realize how amazing it is to just eat a simple piece of tomato or a simple piece of meat like usually we, we just stuff it in and don't think about it and um and you feel what hunger feels like and you at least to some extent you relate to what other people are going through you know so i think it's a it's a great exercise on multiple levels it's, it's a challenge it's hard it's uncomfortable you reset you detox it's healthy for you um so i want to definitely keep doing it what i will change is maybe next time i will try to wean off of caffeine a little earlier just to not have that super ditch though i don't know if i'm going to do that really because then i'll also have to stop drinking coffee earlier which is never fun um but for sure what i will do is like schedule it in a way where like i don't have a schedule of things i need to do because it it's definitely not a productivity hack you get headaches you get brain fog your energy level drops um you think a lot about food um you know you get angry and hangry and you know the, sometimes um and so it's you definitely don't want to be like shit all right i also need to like have 20 meetings a day and bang through my to-do list um, I'll probably just make sure that if I do it, I have a very empty, loose and and easygoing schedule or just nothing and it's just, you know, just the fast and I can spend my time however I want. Um, that's one thing that people talked about. I posted a video on LinkedIn and people ask about clarity of mind. I never got that. I got kind of a little bit back to my form the fourth and fifth day, like first First day was also still okay, but I definitely felt uh, the not having drunk coffee. So the first day was kind of like low energy and then the second and third day was I think the worst in terms of like hunger and in terms of brain fog and in terms of being unmotivated and not having a lot of energy. And then day four and five were definitely much better again. I had energy again, I could do things again. I was still hungry, um, but I was definitely not, my, my clarity or focus was definitely not a buff. What I'm usually at but that might also be because usually I am fasting uh, intermittent fasting and usually I eat very healthy you know maybe if you go from like eating garbage every day to then fasting maybe then you get clarity of mind because your baseline was such so fucked up but my baseline is pretty good so um, yeah it's definitely not a productivity hack um, intermittent fasting is Five-day water fasting is not a productivity hack. Um, anything else I want to add? No, I think that's it. I feel amazing now um, and I'm ready to rock and roll. If you have any questions, if there's anything I missed, um, a follow-up video or something you want to answer, any sources um, that maybe you guys have questions about, obviously drop them down below. Um, and then make sure to like and subscribe if you liked it, but if you don't want to that's also okay I understand my face is not the best looking and most of my videos are pretty boring But that's it. See you in the next video and peace out Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up